Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing one of my personal favorite kinds of videos, which is a haul. Even more exciting because it's a Mamie's haul. Sometimes I try to add these weird jingles to these, and I usually edit them out because I'm like, why'd you do that, Lauren? Um, it's about midnight right now. I just got home from work. Um, you all might be thinking... Lauren, if it's midnight, why are you wearing sunglasses on your head? And you know, I wondered that myself when I turned on the webcam and I'm starting to wonder if they've actually been on my head for the entire day. So, that's concerning. Um, I went to Nanny's yesterday and I got the stuff. I haven't had a chance to film this video and I have tried not to get into it too much. So, I need to do this haul now though because... I like don't really want to get into the makeup too much until I do the haul, but it's like driving me crazy having this bag of like all new stuff and not touching it. I love doing hauls. I think you guys like hauls too because my TJ Maxx haul has like the most views, which is still only like 60, but for me that's a lot of views out of any of my videos and I just love, I mean I love doing makeup, but I love, love buying new makeup. I maybe have a slight shopping addiction. I definitely have a full shopping addiction, um, but this turns it into something kind of productive, so I enjoy that. Um, Mamie's is a beauty store in Hollywood, in North Hollywood. I had not been there before, but I've heard a lot of beauty influencers on YouTube talk about it, and so I was actually in the area because me and my boyfriend were helping a friend move, and I got a little out of control. This place is awesome though. It's like a Sephora, but if it had all the brands that Sephora doesn't have, like it had like a Lime Crime section and a MAC section and a Ben Nye section and brands I've never even heard of, but I want to try and it was a lot cheaper. Like they actually, one thing they have that Sephora does not have is they had like a very good clearance section with like name brand makeup and like a lot of it for like cheese like I was getting like Kat Von D eyeliners for like six bucks and like Lime Crime lip kits not lip kits but like bunches of different like liquid lipsticks for like 12 bucks and it was just like cheap actually like actually a sale item and I was just like I went a little crazy. I have the greatest boyfriend in the world because I was like, and this is normally my technique when I'm shopping for beauty items is I grab about $5,000 worth of makeup and then I just put it back until it's a reasonable amount. I put most of it back and it's very heartbreaking. But so I had grabbed a bunch of makeup and I was like, okay, let me go through this and see what I want. And he was like, no, babe, you go to the bathroom. I, I, I got it. Why don't you just run along to the powder room? And he tried not to let me see what the total cost was, but it popped up on his phone and I was changing the song on his phone and it was $247, which I mean is a lot of money. But for, you're going to see all that I got. It's really like, if I had bought this much stuff at Sephora or something, I feel like it would have been like $400 or something. Like, you'll see. It. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. Um, I strongly recommend if you live in the area and are able to check out Namie's that you do it. They had a lot of other cool stuff. They have a salon in there. They have wigs. They had really cool vanities and ring lights and just all sorts of stuff. Like anything you would want, just like a Hollywood makeup store and... I loved it. Um, so to start, I got these Lime Crime Unicorn Hairs. Um, these are, they are temporary color and they're not supposed to have any like harmful chemicals in them. They're vegan. It's semi-permanent hair color, vegan and cruelty free. I actually really like to have my hair different colors until I was about 24. Like my whole life was just like manic panic and then bleaching over it and then manic panicking again and just different crazy colors and fading into ugly colors then bleaching it over until my hair became completely destroyed and now will not grow past this point as a consequence of my actions. But these are supposed to not be harmful to your hair or dry your hair out. Um, they are temporary so, which I don't fully believe in because I still feel like temporary things kind of stay in your hair and fade to a weird color. But I haven't done anything. My hair has been pretty natural for the most part for like the last, I'm 28 now. I think I stopped dyeing it crazy colors when I was like 24. It was lavender for a very brief period of time last year. 
and then it faded into like green and I couldn't get the color normal no matter what I did and that was the end of that so I mean I'm kind of like I'm about to be too old to be doing this stuff, so I want to do it now. The closer I get to 30, the more like facial piercings I want to get. The other day, I really wanted knuckle tattoos. I wanted them. I was going to do it. I think I'm going through like a small crisis, but I have wanted to try these. I've been curious about them for a while. I'm a little nervous because I'm like not... I don't have like a ton of money to get my hair done. My sister is a cosmetologist and I'm very lucky that she is kind enough to do my hair for free. I see her twice a year. She lives in Ohio and I live in Orange County, California. So she does my hair twice a year, but in between that, I'm on my own. So if I fuck this up, I, I will probably see her again around Christmas and it is May. So, but I also want to play around with these colors. So I got a neon peach color and I got bunny I've seen these mixed together and they're really cool they make like a like salmon-y kind of like I don't know a salmon-y color and then I also got this one called oyster but this is a tint so I don't know if it will show up in my hair but we'll see I think that's really pretty though this is what it's supposed to look like on my hair but I was thinking maybe mixing this with the pink I don't know let me know what you guys think I also just kind of want to do this for like education purposes because there's a lot of like videos and information about there like there's videos of people with platinum blonde hair dyeing it and it's like of course it turns out the right color because you have platinum blonde hair and then there's people with dark hair doing it I think I just spit and I'm sorry um there's people with dark hair and they're like oh it didn't work and how strange and I'm like well yeah of course it didn't work like this is your hair is black and this is orange and a semi-permanent color um so I'm just kind of curious I feel like there hasn't been a lot done like with like this like I have kind of a medium blonde hair and it's obviously ombre to the top so I'm curious to see what that will look like and I would like to tell other people who might be thinking about it so I'm nervous but I am soon going to do this I'm going to do a video about it too so I got those three those were like $16 each I just got this NYX I thought that it was just like a brown mascara that was what I wanted but I actually opened it this morning and there's like I don't even know there is so much going on look at there's like three different compartments there is like a thick thing a little thin one and a mascara also so I have all the different size brow products that I need um <laughs> I was so taken aback this morning I was like oh there's a lot there so I don't know this was like NYX is pretty affordable so this is like normal NYX pricing um I got I haven't even looked at these actually I don't these are the lime crime and I know that some people don't like lime crime because they're kind of sketchy and I like their stuff. I'm sorry. I don't know. I Maybe I should care more about the ethics of the brand. I probably should, but I like their stuff. I really like their packaging. It looks like someone kind of ripped into this. Um, it wasn't me, but this was on Clearix, Clearix. Clearance for, for $12.99, and it's a cute little candy wrapper that was kind of maimed by someone, and it has three little like diamond lip toppers in it. It's called the Diamond Crushers Mini Set. Um, I've been really into buying lipsticks lately. Like, look at how pretty. Look at how cute those are with the little sparkly tops. And here, I'll just do a swatch of one of them for you. This is kind of like an iridescent. It's not very... Eh, it looks a little irid iridescent, like gold. Like, I mean, obviously it's not on top of anything, so it looks a little weird. Here, I'll do a swatch on the hand for you, but like... That is so pretty over like a nude. Are you kidding me? Okay, so these are normally $25. I got them for $12.99 for three little, I mean, I don't use a ton of lip stuff, so these will last me like a long time, the little minis. So I got three of the little mini lip toppers there, with the sparkles in them. They're all a little bit iridescent, a little duo chrome. They're called Dope, Lit, and Cleopatra are the name of the shades. I got this. This was also on clearance. This was for $12.99 also. And this, so these go for $20. This is called the Velvet, Velvet Tin, like a, like a tin. It's normally spelled with E's, but this is spelled with an I. I don't know. So the Lime Crime Velvet Tin. I really just, I love this. I love this little rose. Um, 
I think this will look really pretty next to all my beauty stuff. And it just comes with three little matte lipsticks. Or actually one matte and two metallic lipsticks. So let's just do like a little swatchy of that. This one is called Lana. Ooh, wait. I really wanted this one. This isn't a swatch. This is just... That is beautiful. One thing I love about Lime Crime, despite their racy past, is they have the most pigmented lip I'm sorry I'm, I feel like I'm just like putting it just everywhere this is so pretty um they have the most pigmented liquid lipsticks and they last forever they stay on all day I'm even like scared to apply them because if I get them outside my lip which I usually do because I'm not great at it um at applying liquid lipstick um don't you guys just love the word liquid lip I love when people in tutorials say liquid lip and I love it when it makes this the sound. Like the word liquid lip makes me think of that sound. Wow, I look like the mom in Requiem for a Dream right now. Um, so, I mean, I love this. I think this is so pretty. Their shades all are just super long wearing. I don't find them to be particularly drying, even the mattes, and I love them. So I'm excited about these. I would love, I think I might wear this tomorrow actually. I'm just going to try it on with the lip topper just to just to kind of see if there's any of these products you guys want me to like oh this is going this is turning really gold all right i'm feeling some maybe some selena vibes right now okay so this tutorial's gotten a little bit out of control i feel like you guys can't take me seriously with this golden lip but i'm just gonna keep going um, I got these. These are my favorite, the Ardell Natural or the Ardell Dummy Wispies. I think if you want a natural lash, these are gorgeous. They don't irritate my eyes. They're not super heavy. They're cheap. A three pack is like, oh, it's a four pack. It's like 11 bucks or something as opposed to like the mink and the more expensive lashes can run you like $25 a pair. They don't last as long, but I find I can get like, I don't know, like a week or two's wear out of a pair. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I do. Um, so those are just, yeah, I just needed some more of those. This is, I've been wanting to get this. This is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. This is like one thing in particular that I was excited about Mamie's is because they have Lime Crime stuff. And I feel like a lot of like the reason I don't buy that much Lime Crime stuff is because I can't like impulsively buy it at stores. You can only get it online and then it's like shipping and like a whole thing. So... I'm really sorry about this distracting metallic lip, but this is, they call it a heavenly grunge, and it's like, just like beautiful, like rosy and purpley. I'll probably do a tutorial with this soon, I just want to play with it a little more, and I was waiting to do this haul video. Um, so this was like, it was like $38, I believe, which for, is a little pricey, I think, for eight shadows, but... I'm, I'm excited about it. I've wanted this one for a while. I love warm shades. I love pinks. I love champagnes. I love everything about this palette. So I'm excited to play around with it. I got, ooh, this is the Stila Glittering Glow. This might actually be my favorite thing that I got out of the whole haul is this. I actually went and ordered some more <laughs> Stila Liquid liquid eyeshadows because because I love this so much I feel like it's like a nice like more grown-up kind of glitter like this look is just getting really metallic and I'm not really sure the video has just gone to a place where it is I'm no longer in control of it but this is the shade copper and it's just a really pretty like if you wanted to do like a cut crease and just do this on the lid or a halo eye and put this in the middle to be your shimmer like it's just so pretty it just adds this little extra oomph to the eye and i love coppery shades i'm just adding more and more glitter to my face and it's 12 16 a.m but i love this super happy about this i'm not sure how much it costs however much it normally costs um it wasn't like on sale or anything so nothing exciting there but I love this. I love this and I can't wait to add it to more eyeshadow looks because it just adds such an extra pop. Um, so I got that. 
They gave me a lot of samples. Um, I got another Lime Crime lipstick. This was $8. These are usually like 16 or 18 Sometimes they're 20 but this is the Velveteen. This is like a pur I got it like a lot of purpley shades. There's definitely like a pastel kind of purpley theme to this haul. It's kind of hard to see, but this is called Wisteria. I sometimes I just like to have fun lipsticks even if I never wear them. Because maybe there will come a day. This I was really excited about. They had Kat Von D liners for $6.99. I was like, that never happens. And so I bought a bunch. I keep buying... It's not the tattoo liner. It's her gel ink liners, which I think... Ooh, I think I might have just accidentally squeezed out a bunch of it. Um, yeah, it's the ink liner, which might, I think, have actually been... Now they do the tattoo liner instead, but whatever. Well, their loss is my gain. So I got a white. I got a metallic blue. I don't really know why because I already have a lot of color. I just, like, accumulate these colored eyeshadows that I, like, ooh, that's a really pretty, like, cobalt blue. Um, I accumulate all these colored liners, and I never use them. Not ones. I have, like, three different blue... Do you guys see that lid? Do you see how, how intensely that flew off? This is a green shade. It looks completely black. But you know, I can't get enough black gel liners, so if it's black, it's black. I'm gonna... This is not green at all. I'm gonna get that lid. So yeah, I just, I have like a red liner. I have three blue liners now. A green or black, I don't know which. I have a purple one, I have a white one, I have a couple different cream shades, like skin colored for the um, the waterline, and I don't use one of them. Not a one. But I, I love the idea of them, and I would like to someday get comfortable with using them. So I got those, honestly, for $6.99 for Kat Von D liner. I was just like, how could I not? So, also on appearance, they had, this is just a NYX Total Coverage Concealer. I just wanted a warmer concealer for, um, for contouring or, like, priming the eye if I want to do a warmer look. Well, it actually looks really light on my hand. I have actually just gotten the correct shade. Um, well then I have a new concealer. I also got a clear, <laughs> just clear nail polish because I don't have it. I actually never normally do anything to my nails, but recently I was watching a Tati, Re Tati Westbrook video and she was like, if you have chipped nails, to me that just says that you don't like care about yourself enough to take the time to like clean up your nails. And I was just like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But I don't have, since I haven't been doing my nails for so long, I don't even have clear nail polish. I just have like two different shades. So I was like, I need to need to bite the bullet and just buy a clear nail polish. So this is a Chip Skip by OPI. Not that exciting. Got another sample. Um, and then last but not least, I needed a new highlighter because you guys know that I have troubles with highlighters showing up on my actual face. It's actually like, even in the Sephora store, like, or Ulta, they'll, I'll be like, yeah, I just, none of them show up. And they'll be like, oh no, I know it. I know one that, honey, this will show up. And then they're just like, oh. Oh, it's just disappearing into your skin. Uh, I don't know what it is, you guys. My skin absorbs highlighter. It absorbs highlighter. It's an unfortunate fact of my life. Um, so I, uh, I love the packaging on this. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrezy Highlighter. I love the little stars. I like. It's like very glossy. It's already super dirty, and then it has like the gold on the bottom. And it has a little thing you push in, and then. Look at that. It looks like sand dunes. Um, so that, I mean, it honestly still doesn't show up on my face that much, but I thought it would because everyone's like, woo, this highlighter is best. Blinding. And for some reason, the fact that it looked like waves really got me. I mean, if you have normal skin that doesn't absorb highlighter, this will probably work great. It shows up, but it just, I don't know. Nothing really shows up that much. So that's it, you guys. That is my Namie's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I would definitely, if you have the opportunity, 
check out an Amy's. I personally, I think I love Sephora. I love Ulta. I think it's fun to mix it up once in a while. However, not everyone lives within driving distance of North Hollywood. They also have a website. I don't know how good like their clearance is or any of that, but their clearance was good in the store. So um, I am really metallic now. It is 12.30 a.m. It is time for me to go to bed. I will see you guys later. Catch you next time. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.